Derry Matthews is back. That's the message the Liverpool lightweight wants to put out there ahead of Saturday's showdown with Stephen Jennings. Former WBU world featherweight champion Matthews quit boxing just 18 months ago after a run of poor form, but his retirement didn't last long and under the watchful eye of respected trainer Oliver Harrison, he's eyeing a return to the big time. I'm an English lightweight champion and I might be all intercontinental champion, so you know, I'm, at, I'm at a good point. I've had a few bad defeats in me, in my career. I had personal problems away from the ring, but you know, I've come back the last 12 months, I've had eight fights. I've come back bigger and stronger. I think I've proved the doubt is wrong. I believe I can go to the very top, and all of us told me I can go to the top, so you know, I believe in him. He's a good coach, he's one of the best coaches around in the world, I'd say, and you know, he's, he's done everything for me in the, in the gym, everything I've asked, everything he's asked of me, I've, I've done, and you know, we work, we've got a great partnership together, and he said, you know, after the beat Gavin Reese, we'll sit down with Matt Rimmel and Stephen Vaughan, and we'll plan the future, maybe another a big world title shot at the end of the day, but as I said before, I've got to look, look forward to Jennings, deal with him, get on to Gavin Reese, deal with Gavin Reese, and then, you know, the world's my own then. The Jennings fight tops the bill at the Greenbank Leisure Centre. It's not the fight Matthews was expecting. Gavin Reese pulled out of their European title fight three weeks ago. And although Jennings isn't the opponent Matthews wanted, he knows he can't lose his focus. He's a tough guy, he's a good, he's, to be fair, he's a, he's a friend of mine as well, but you know, it's business at the end of the day. I've already boxed him three times as an amateur. I beat him all three, so I know he's going to want revenge and he'll see this as a big shot and a big, big chance to step up to be and better things. You know, if he beats me, he goes and gets a shot at the European title, so I can't afford no slip-ups. I've got to take every fight serious and I've got to deal with Stephen Jennings in the best way I can. And I believe I've got everything to beat him. The, the tools, I'm, I'm stronger and, and I'm more experienced, which you can't buy, so I'm looking forward to it. Matthew says it was his family and friends who persuaded him to pull on the gloves again and he wants to make sure they see him at his best. My support's been brilliant. I've always said I've got the best fans in the world, you know, to travel everywhere. My fans have to go to an away trip and to come to, to local places. I've got a good family around me and, um, you know, they, they want the best for me and, and without that I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah, I've got a few good sponsors, Premier Furniture, you know, I've got um, supplements to you who've always been good and helped me out the supplements and vanilla restaurants and all the other people who've always backed me, not just so much now, I'm making it from the start, you know, I've had great sponsors from day one. Drags and Metal Development and them, they always always back me. And uh, Salt Lake Pool Taxis, they've always backed me, so you know, I want to thank everyone. And I'm, I'm back. And I'll prove all the as I said before, I'll prove all the doubt is wrong and thanks for the support. It's a big night for Liverpool boxing on Saturday, and it will be a defining moment in the career of Derry Matthews. Simon Ellis Jones, Bay TV Liverpool.